Okay, if you have red algae, you probably have a saltwater aquarium because we don't usually find red algae in a freshwater aquarium. But just in case your algae looks a little bit reddish and it's a freshwater aquarium and it's more like a rust color, that's probably just brown diatom algae and that plagues most new aquariums. If you give the tank a few months, it usually kicks in and you get a lot less brown algae, you'll start getting green instead, which is a sign that the tank has matured. Uh, but to get rid of brownish red algae in a freshwater aquarium, you can use algae eaters like autosynclus cats, uh, algae eat Chinese algae eaters, and plecos to scavenge the algae. You can also use freshwater snails. Uh, if it's true red algae, like in a saltwater aquarium, it's actually a cyanobacteria, and that's telling that you have areas where you don't have a lot of flow and you have a lot of waste buildup and this bacteria is able to thrive. So the key to getting rid of a lot of these algaes is to out-compete it for the nutrients that are available. You want beneficial bacteria to grow instead of the nuisance algae. That's why people use refugiums. Refugiums encourage macroalgaes and lots of bacteria to grow in an area that's outside the aquarium to out-compete the for the nutrients that otherwise will be growing inside the aquarium. So if you have red algae and you want a quick fix, you can get some of the, the chemicals that are commonly available at fish stores like anti-red or chemi-clean. They're mainly oxidizing agents and antibiotics like erythromycin. The antibiotics will kill a lot of the bacteria which is promoting this red slime.